I've been told that my work is not calm. It's so funny because my entire life, you know, trying to take on, I don't know, meditation and run and, and have a dog and try to, I'm always focusing and just trying to calm myself down and get rid of the anger and get rid of like, you know, I just don't want toxicity in my life and in my mind. I just want to get rid of all of that tension and frustration, probably because there's, there's, it's there. I don't, I don't know what to do with it. And it comes through in the work. The work really works stuff out of me. I think the work evolves like with you. I never knew that I would be here at this point in my life. Like, you just take it as it comes, you know, one minute at a time sometimes. It just has a life of its own. I have no idea where it's going. I just know that it's constantly, constantly moving and faster than me because there's stuff that is going on in my mind that I want to make that I don't have the means for right now. So, yeah, I can't imagine um, it ever not evolving. It's just changing so fast and I, I want it that way because that it's that purpose, you know, it gives you purpose. To, to constantly move towards the next the next piece. I've never felt very feminine. I've never been really into wearing dresses or skirts and, and I feel like as I get closer to who I really am and to myself, I find myself trying to get rid of my hair and I like men's clothes and I, I, I like aggressive things. Like, I don't like aggressive people, but I like strong, aggressive objects, like as far as like, I'm drawn to, you know, metal and, and, and guns and, you know, and, you know, brick and steel and, and just tough things. And that definitely comes from my childhood. Like it was just, uh, like I think about glass and silk and it just makes me super uncomfortable. It feels like so fragile. I've always been like, you know, you have to be strong and, and I, I don't like things that fall apart and break. So I think that's why these materials are so solid. So I'm drawn to that, yeah. But yeah, I've gotten that a lot. A lot of people think a man made the work. I think I never wanted to push a message. I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of like brainwashing people or trying to push messages or anything. And like, you know, when I saw my first, like, let's say like Francis Bacon, I didn't know what the work was about. It just was like touched, moved and inspired me beyond words, you know? And I think that's what I always strived for, to, just have layers, layers, layers. Because I think, I mean, look at you know art history books. We people th say and analyze and try and you know want to know, but like so much stuff we really don't know. We made up stories about it, and I think um, that's. I, I think art and music and it just it's something that you can't put into words. And I, I don't want to push anything. I just want to make something that is, is communicating what I lived through, you know. Because I think art sometimes is more honest than history and you record I'm recording a history that's happening around me and and I want it to add something you're also taking something maybe pretty ugly and making something beautiful out of it you want people to take what they you just want them to be moved you want them to question and to think and to feel